We got MPS Agri uh, that we partnered with on this farm to provide electronic sow feeding stations. The MPS Agri automatic electronic sow feeding station is designed to allow us to keep uh, a large number of sows in a group but still treat each animal as an individual. Uh, each, each individual sow will have its own RFID uh, ear tag which allows us to identify the animal as it walks into the feeding stations and as they walk in and are identified it talks to the computer based in the computer room and will allocate to that individual animal the amount that they're programmed for that particular day. So it gives us maximum control uh, over the, the entire herd uh, and each, each individual animal can be allocated an entirely unique amount of feed. So we're optimizing the feed usage and therefore enhancing the ability to produce as many piglets as possible for those individual animals. And so the default position for these feeding stations is the doors are open. As the sow walks in, she has to push the center gate open, which closes the back door. This is key because this protects the sow from feed aggression of other sows. Once, she's, once the sow is standing in this feeding station, there's an antenna in the feed bowl that reads her electronic ear tag. And then it will say that this sow is due five pounds of feed today. And it will drop a quarter pound of feed every 15 seconds, along with a squirt of water, because sows like to eat moist feed. And she can leave anytime she wants, but 95% of the sows will walk through, eat their full allotment of feed before leaving again. And to leave, they just walk out that door, push open that last door, and then there's one more door they have to put, they walk through on the other side of that concrete wall. And that's the other port, that's the other design of how these electronic cell feeding systems work. As you just as you just asked, what are all these areas here? These are bedroom areas. And so if that sow wants to come back and eat again, she's got to do the NASCAR lap and come all the way around the route we just took and come to get back in line. Because sows, the pigs are hierarchical. They know there's a boss hog sow and they know there's ones that are more timid, okay? So if we did not have these walls here, uh, an aggressive sow could come back and chase other sows away and get back in line. But she's gotta come all the way around and get back in line. And by the time she gets to the end, she sees some buddies over there. She's gonna lay down in these bedroom areas and take a nap. When you have sows in here, three quarters of them are laying along like hot dogs in a package because they choose to lay in close physical contact with each other. And then the other quarter are kind of milling around, nosing around looking for crumbs. Then water is also supplied uh, uh, as, they, uh, as they enter the enter this feeding stations and as they exit the feeding stations. Here's an example of an RFID tag right here. This, combined with the pin design, allows us to individually care and feed for a pig. When, the, when a sow comes through here, it will not only know how much to give her, but then we can get a report to know how much she actually ate and when she ate. And it's really interesting. Sows will pick a time once we form a pin. Sows will pick a time when they eat and they'll get up nearly identical time every day and go eat. And they all know when their turn is. And they'll get up in groups. It's kind of like uh, uh, high school where you got, <laughs> you, 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 everybody finds their little cliques. This bedroom area will get up and eat. The next bedroom area will get up and eat and they'll all go lie down together. This will be the, the biggest, most unique system in Illinois currently. And um, the, the, the system that we're adapting it is tried and tested, but certainly from a scale and from a technology point of view, it's, it's very unique. 